right. So now I'm officially started. All right. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. And uh, thanks for uh, thanks for coming to the meeting. Um, as you see, we're using GoToMeeting. I, it's a new system, and I think there's a lot that we can uh, do with it. So very happy that you guys are here and happy that we're using this. Um, all right. I sent out the uh, committee. Uh, what is this? Uh, the meeting uh, agenda. There we go. <laughs> I sent out the meeting agenda, and you know, I just have it on the screen here. Uh, does everyone see my screen? Yeah. Okay. So we've got the agenda. We've got a meeting. All right. Uh, this part would be the intro, and we're going to go through. Um, there's a lot going on this year, and um, as you know, this is our second time meeting this month. Uh, it's been a very eventful year already, and it's only uh, February. And there's still, you know, lots of things. We have a lot of goals and things that we'd like to uh, reach this year, and a lot of things we want to do differently. And um, that's uh, some of the things where, you know, we'll be going over. Um, but uh, before I go uh, into that, just a quick question, and we'll get into this more later. But uh, how many people, I would say show of hands, how many people have, uh, uh, what's the word, uh, visited a house or program and... Uh, uh, did some kind of uh, a presentation. I know, Deanna, uh, you did something. Yes. Um, I did something at our supervisor's meeting, um, and I went over to Garden City. They have their all set up. My day have it set up, and then I have some future dates set up to visit some other programs. Excellent. Excellent. Thank you. Um, anyone else uh, you get around yet? I know it's, like I said, we just met. This is Stephanie. I have um, done my own um, staff meeting at my group home, and I'll, I have dates planned to visit the rest of my cluster. Great. Great. Um, I think uh, a couple people are calling, uh, joining in. I think uh, Nancy just joined us, which I'm uh, happy about. I wasn't uh, sure if she was going to join. There was an emergency meeting. Um, good. This is good stuff. Well, um, and this is great. Uh, thank you, Stephanie. And uh, anyone else, um, wh what we've done in the past, for those who weren't here, we there was a physical sheet that went around. It was an Excel spreadsheet, and uh, pretty much every you know meeting, um, people would sign off and you know show the places that they would um, that they visited, and that way we recorded everything, and that's how we made sure everyone was doing everything they were supposed to. <laughs> this is the meeting. I know, but I thought that we get to talk through the computer. Well, I mean, you can, but you need a, a micro, not my computer, though. Uh, hold, I'm sorry, everyone. I just have a... Yeah, you got to call in. Um, yes, sorry about that. Um, so... Pretty much, uh, yeah, so it, we're going to get into that. Um, we're going to change that up. Obviously, we can't, I can't, uh, well, we can, but it'd be silly to send a physical piece of paper to each of your houses' programs. But I think that we can use GoToMeeting and uh, also uh, make that easier also. Um, okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just go into the uh, number two thing here. It's our yearly obstacles and goals. Um, so what I have here? Oh, I'm sorry. Was, was there a question? Hello? Oh, I'm here. Okay, no, I, I thought someone was asking a question. I guess that's uh, um, something uh, in the background. All right, so here we go. What we've got here is uh, just a quick little uh, PowerPoint I did um, just to kind of illustrate some of the things uh, we'll be going over just uh, really quickly. First things first, this year, um, uh, first off, is, can I, everyone can hear uh, that, the, uh, I guess that someone has a lot of noise in the background. If, uh, yeah, it's probably me. Okay, if, uh, if, you know, if there's any way to, you know, either lower it or somehow, if not, I, I understand, I know we're all busy. Um, Sorry, I'm trying to figure out where to go. Okay, no, no problem. Um, all right. Exceed your goals. This year, um, I, I want uh, our theme for the you know the entire year because this you know every uh, session is six months. 
for the champion. However, throughout the whole year, whether you're staying a champion or you know whether you know you switch out, um, it exceeds your uh, your goals. I want that to be our in you know entire mantra this whole year. Um, I want people to by people I mean our employees and the people that we're trying to uh, help with health and things of that nature. Um, I want everyone to either set a goal, people who don't have one. And even people who don't care, they don't realize, you know, who cares, I don't feel like getting off the couch, you know, then I want them to want to, you know, have a goal. So if that if we're talking about this couch person, the goal would be getting up off the couch at least once. You can go sit back down. But I want people to make goals and then eventually I wanna we wanna exceed them. Um so with everything we do, uh you don't I don't we don't have to keep spouting this as a phrase or anything, but I kinda want it to be the the you know the mantra behind everything and kind of you know the way you feel about stuff when you go to a house and when we go to things we want to meet our goals but we want to exceed them and uh, I'm going to go further into the goals of what we have uh, for the champions and for our wellness program this year um, but just had to throw that out there exceed what? your goals that's what, what we want Chris everyone Chris to do. I'm sorry. Oh, you're registered. Oh, I'm sorry, Alex. Yes, I'm sorry. Hello? Claudine, you had a question? I apologize. I apologize. No, no, you, you asked me. And it shows Chris Shepard. So that's yeah, that is, uh, <laughs> that's, uh, that's who it was registered under. That's something we have to fix. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Sorry. Mm -hmm. No problem. Um, any comments? Does everyone uh, understand? Um, does that make sense? Um, Alex, can, uh, can you hear me? Absolutely, um, going yes. over the goals, okay? Now, yes. basically, as you know, I was the one who processed the uh, payments for everyone. And uh, just the other day, I was running a report, and, you know, the, the report showed me names and all. And I noticed that basically the majority of the people that were processed with management, um, and it seemed to me like maybe perhaps we didn't reach out to the staff enough. Yeah, no, you know what, and it's uh, that's like that. We're definitely going to get uh, further into the goals and the yearly ones, but that's exactly it. Yeah, uh, because to me, you know, from looking at that, like I said, the, but, you know, it seemed to me like a lot of the uh, upper management was the one that would process. And, uh, you know, again, you know, the staff was not really as much involved, although I did see some clusters that did terrific. Yes. Uh, well, this is that's one of the things we're definitely going to target uh, here, and I'm going to get into shortly. But yes, communication with a capital C is uh, one of our biggest uh, obstacles and things I want to tackle this year. And uh, you know, I've I have a couple of ideas, and I, hopefully we all have creative ideas to attack that problem and uh, a couple of the other ones. But communication, you are absolutely right. That's one of them. Um, but we'll go into it. Um, all right. So I'm gonna Go ahead and let's see. All right. Speaking of obstacles, <laughs> uh, pretty much, yeah. As you can see, I got some <laughs> nice pictures. And uh, also, just as a side note, I want to send uh, at the end of this meeting, I want to send to you guys uh, the updated version of the PowerPoint we looked at uh, last uh, last meeting. And I'll probably look at it a little this time, but I'm going to update it for the 2013 program and send it to you. Um, okay. And as always, as we do these things, if you see any pictures, stock photos you'd like to use for uh, something in, you know, your presentation when you're going to a cluster or something, all you have to do is email me and I can send those. Um, uh, all right. Now, speaking of some of our obstacles, uh, one, one of the main ones, actually, this was brought up um, by a couple people. And, uh, you know, there's there's been a lot of... Uh, What's the word? Uh, there's been a lot of ideas floating around, and it's a little bit of a complicated problem, uh, but it's something we're working through. Basically, when people come to the main office, um, you know, we have, we all know our setup. We've got a main office. We've got a bunch of different clusters, programs, houses, residential programs, you know, all over the place. So people are coming from other places. When they come to the main office, they should see, you know, somewhat of uh, an example continuity of what we're doing. Uh, what, what's been happening and what's been brought to my attention is in certain places, especially, you know, in the main office, uh, we're the main culprit here, uh, there's lots of uh, large amounts of 
unhealthy types of foods and things being brought in. And this, you, we've gotten better over the years, because I remember when I first started working here, it used to be really crazy. Then, you know, uh, Brooke created Health and Wellness, and, you know, the agency started making initiatives. So that kind of died down. What's happened ever since Sandy, and um, it, it, there's, even before Sandy, the, everything kind of got pushed and tucked away into certain offices, and people kind of bring in junk food, but they kind of hide it away from the kitchen. But what's happened is, um, and I'm talking about the main office now, what's happened is uh, since Sandy, uh, and for obvious reasons, people started bringing in comfort food and things, and also there were people who were almost living here. So ever since then, there's been more and more uh, food being brought into the kitchen and starting to get back the way it used to be. Oh, and, it's bad. Yeah, yeah, and it's um, it, it's it's beginning to look even a little bit like it used to, and uh, we definitely don't want that. And one of the things about it is, as I was saying, continuity of our message is that we have people from the houses uh, coming here. So if I'm shooting out a million emails a day about health this, health that, and how we're trying to get healthy, but then someone comes to pick up a paycheck or someone comes to get something from the main office, and what do you see? You've got a box of, you know, 10 donuts on a table. And you know what? It's not, I'm not so much against having donuts. I believe that people should have the choice the problem is, is that there's only 10 donuts on that table. There's no healthy option. There's no nothing there. And once again, the person may not grab a donut. They may not even notice it. But once it, it's something you, you, you come into the office, you see, and like I say, it just takes away from the message, And I believe, among other things. <laughs> there's many other problems with that. Um, but I'm going to stop there. Uh, does anyone, you know, do, does that make sense, sir? Well, one of the things I've done at um, Deer Park um, and I'm still working with the vendors that come here. Like, I know one of the things that is an obstacle here, here is when uh, the vending machine is filled with junk food. So, you know, I don't know if that's something. I remember when I was at Garden City, they were working on that over there with keeping healthy things. I haven't been here in a while, so I don't know how the vending machine looks. Well, the vending machine is not that bad. I mean, there's some issues, but it really could be a lot worse. So I don't think that that's the, the okay. difficulty. I think it's just that when there are certain events um, or a holiday comes up, it's just it's everywhere. It's, uh, it's not even just, you know, I'm, I'll be the first person. I'm on the wellness committee. I've lost 65 pounds. I've got my bucket of uh, Reese's peanut butter cups in my office. But it doesn't mean that there are... 500 million different kinds of items out there on the table waiting for you to come in and pick up. Right. Well, well I know they've gotten better with meetings over there as well, you know, with um, ordering healthier food versus pizza, 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 because they used to always be the thing over there, pizza. Mm -hmm. I haven't, again, I haven't been in a while, so I'm not sure. No, you're um, you're absolutely right. It used to be, yeah, pizza was the least of it. We used to get pizza, mm -hmm. breakfast pizza, all types of uh, crazy stuff. You know, and this is what what makes this a complicated issue is that uh, it, it you, there's a fine line. And here, the main thing, at no point do I ever want um, a Gestapo like, you know, we're going to remove mm -hmm. the option because you know what? Not not that that's something we couldn't do. If we if we really wanted, we could really force people's hands and make sure that this doesn't come in and things like that. The problem with that is that's not reality. Right. You know, I what I want people to do, you know, aside from just achieving my goals and, you know, we want the agency to see return on investment with all of these things we're doing, but aside from all of that, I want people to make a healthy lifestyle change. We want people to actually choose this, to choose to say, you know, I, I know that I could be eating X, Y, Z, or I could be, you know, doing whatever with my time, but to know, you know, that I want to be healthy and I have a certain goal in mind and I'm going to make choices that are going to support that goal. Mm -hmm. You know, so I, I, I want there to be choice. So at no point do I want to remove choice from people and try to force anything on anyone. That's uh, right. kind of the same thing with the smoke-free environment thing. You know, I've, it, it, like I said, I believe that in reality you're always going to have that choice. And it, we can force people from 9 to 5 all we want to. That's not helping. It's just something that, you know, I want to actually make a difference in people's lives. Mm -hmm. So with that, I want to at least uh, one of the things that I was throwing around for that, and of course, like I said, we're just uh, just throwing out obstacles. This is a problem that I think we're going to attack from many different angles. But just mm -hmm. one of the things I was thinking about is, um, 
as far as you know food and everything whenever there is a food option at least in the main office what I'm going to be doing I'm going to try to make sure in each food place each kitchen wherever there's any kind of food that there's a healthy option I can't control what else you what you put on the rest of the table but I want to at least control a jar or something and say you know what sure there's donuts and whatever but if you don't feel like you're in the mood you can grab a couple of things and you know courtesy of health and wellness things like that um, I think that's a small quick uh, thing to way to you know start attacking uh, the problem um, I, I want to ask for suggestions but uh, like I said I want to try to keep the show I know everyone has a lot of things to do and I know if we start suggestions with that it may go forever um, but uh, a quick su another suggestion uh, a good one that was made and this was something that um, Nancy actually sent this to us it was uh, having to do with um, the Valentine's Day and things like that is that instead of just focusing it on food or snacks and trying to get even healthy snacks, also focusing on the mental well, um, mental wellness and things like that. So and also physicality. So instead of that, we could take 15 minutes and uh, she said, you know, have people stand up or um, stand up and you know, go say hi to each other, greet each other, you know, actually get up and move away from your computer, things like that. Leave your office and take 15 minutes on a meet and greet kind of thing, you know. Absolutely. And and you know you know what I loved about it, and I told Nancy it's an excellent idea. And you know what what I love even more is that it it goes into what where I want to go this year. We really really want to engage. Like I said, exceed your goals. We want the staff to exceed their goals. We really want to engage them, like mm -hmm. really, yeah, more so than we have in previous years. And everything that I'm going to be doing and all the plans and programs are going to be centered around that. Um, so anyway, like I said, that was that was one of the that's one of the big ones is that it's kind of a I was saying since we had a, a good conversation the other day, it's almost like a counterculture thing where and I you know, I get it. If people feel like they are being forced to be healthy, then you know you're gonna get your people who are like, No, you can't make me do whatever, I'm gonna close my door and I'm gonna have a pizza party. And you know, there's nothing, like I said, I don't want to take that from people, and I understand it. You know, I, I most certainly, I used to smoke, and I, I completely understand it, <laughs> you know, but I want to let people know that it's, I don't want to be abrasive. We don't want to push people away. We want to, you know, embrace all different uh, um, phases of health, you know, because, you know, not everyone is um, focused on losing weight. Some people need to focus on um you know, uh, lowering certain levels in their blood, things of, things, things of that nature. Some people need to focus on quitting smoking. Some people are actually trying to put on weight, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. And you know what, the, the funny thing about that is I, I've, I, people laugh about it, you know, and I think that's also unfair because, um, like I said, imagine if, if you were that person, if someone said, oh, I'm trying to lose weight and someone laughed at you, you know. So even as, as crazy as that sounds, if someone's saying I'm trying to put on weight, I'm trying to put on muscle, you know, we, I want to try to be sensitive to everyone, and every, you know, because we're talking about 900 plus people that we're trying to uh, administer this health system to. Um, so anyway, yeah, that's that's my spiel on that. I'm sorry for uh, going long on that, but like I said, I, I'm glad that it, uh, that that was brought up, and it was like I said, it's a big issue, and I, from what I understand, it's an issue at the houses. People will make uh, stuff for their family. Um, you know, maybe there were some leftovers, and they bring it in to share with staff. This, in in its nature, is not bad. You see, so we can't just say, "Hey, don't bring anything." <laughs> you know what I mean? It's great. I think it's great. It's community. It's wonderful. You know, it's just that, that's what I mean. There's a lot of ways we can uh, we have to tackle that problem. So, any kind of suggestions, anything, please feel free to send them. I would open the floor, but you know, like I said, we're just on one thing, and I want to um, kind of. Um, but yes, please send me any kind of suggestions, anything for that. Uh, one of the other ones, and one of the biggest obstacles that I'm just going to focus on right now, and like I said, we'll, we'll go into more of these, and Nada brought it up already, is communication. Um, and I think this is kind of across the board with, with the agency, not just health and wellness. Like I said, we're scattered. <laughs> you know, we've got houses, residences, programs all over the place, and then we've got a main office, and then we've got the Deer Park office. So, you know, we hold a meeting at the main office in uh, Garden City. The people in Suffolk are saying, you're forgetting about us. How could you? This is horrible. Then we move out to Suffolk, and then everyone in Nassau says, there's absolutely no way I can make it. We put it to one house. You know, this is the, this is the dance that we do for, for everything. And I want to try to use... Um, as any way that we can, like one of them is technology, kind of like go to meeting and to reach the houses. Um, but does anyone, you know, off the top of your head, can you think of any other way that 
we could be reaching the houses that we haven't. I know we send emails and everything. I was going to say, what about flyers? Placing flyers in, uh, you know, in people's mailboxes for the managers to see. You know, the directors can do this as well. You know, just uh, reach out with regular paper. You know, post this. Do this. Well, I um, I have it. weekend programs, and I, what I do is I forward things to the supervisors, and I ask them to put it in the communication logs, so that staff you know, has to see it, or they put it up on the bulletin board in their office. And, the, and, and, this is, and those are the ways we're supposed to go. This is, um, this is good stuff. This is good stuff. And flyers especially, I want to um, make some more. Uh, just a quick thing, just a quick note. Obviously, you know, Antha Fletch, she's in the same office as me, and also we've got Jackie Moore here. So just so you know, she's, uh, she's sitting next to me. So um, she, she actually, she, she made a good point. Uh, so I just wanted to just interject it. It was just that she said, um, and it, it, it piggybacks on kind of what Tina was saying, is that um, director involvement, you know, director level involvement and trying to get the directors more involved so that they, you know, feel the need to tell their staff. Because obviously if they're not telling their staff, and the staff come in and expect to get certain news, you know, obviously there's, there's a break in communication there. And management, yes. So, you know, that's one thing that Jackie put in. Like I said, I agree. Um, any, uh, any other ideas? Uh, like I said, ways that we haven't, you know, haven't done before because, you know, the flyers, like I said, we've done not so much for health and wellness, but we've, we have done flyers and I want to do more. So. But is there any other way that you can think of that we have not tried to reach out to them and engage uh, the staff? What about um, Alex using the employee website and doing like a webinar? Like, um, you know, how you have Peter on there and, um, you know, he does, he discusses different um, things that the agency is going through every so often, you know, mm -hmm. it's updated. What about something like that? You know, this is, it's great. Well, first of all, I definitely want to use the employee site uh, more for that. Um, as a matter of fact, what I'm doing uh, behind the scenes, uh, I'm, I'm going to probably be late a little more. I've been updating the wellness portion of the site. It's been there. We have great resources on it, but, um, and I'm the biggest culprit of this. We don't focus on it, and I don't push it as much as I, I should uh, up until this point. And I'm planning on really launching that and making sure everything's available for everyone. And, uh, yeah, you're absolutely right. Um, I think um, what Tina just said, that um, it's an excellent idea with the webinar, but why can't at some point, you know, set up like an hour or an hour and a half and literally reach out, send, you know, say we're on such and such a day, we're going to have this webinar, mm -hmm. uh, we want everybody to watch. You know, right. set a time where you have not just like at your leisure, mm -hmm. only, you know, something that we can reach out and say we're going to have this online, everybody please join and, you know, make it available to everyone on the website. That sounds like a good idea. It, it is, actually, and, and you know, uh, do this at no, you're right, you're absolutely right, sorry, my screen share just came up. Uh, and yeah, almost no, this like, what they, I'm sorry, what they did, like, um, with, with fire safety, everybody had to get trained in fire safety, every, every employee at the agency. So, I mean, if this is something that we really want to, um, you know, ensure that all the employees are getting the information, maybe we need to do a few of these mandatory type of get-togethers where, you know, people come and they listen and they learn about the program. Absolutely. And um, this I is something, uh, this, hello? Yes, can uh, I add also? Yes, go ahead, sorry. Get back on what everyone is saying. Mm -hmm. I think it will be a great idea, if, just because everyone has access to the employee website, um, that they can join in, even on a meeting like this. So you can hear from other, like, direct support staff, um, so they can give their opinion, their feedback, and see what we can do different to get to reach out more to them. Right. Now, with that, idea. With that, you know, a lot of people have access to the employee website and whatever, but not everybody uses it. I'm, I'm wondering, Alex, is there a way for us to see who hasn't been participating, let's say, in the, the Wells Directions website, that maybe we can reach out to those people and say, hey, I'm not sure if you're aware that this is in place or, you know, whatever. I'm not 
sure if that's even possible, but you know, your um, this is first off because it had a bunch was and it was all great. Um, every those were great ideas, and a lot of it we're definitely moving towards already. Deanna, to answer your question, absolutely yes. Um, these are numbers we've been looking at through Well Directions, and these are this is exactly why I'm asking these questions because this is stuff that was brought up between myself, Brooke, uh, Brian, and a bunch of people as we were going through Well Directions. We went through our payout, so this was our first year doing it, and we got great, great feedback. Not all of the feedback was great. <laughs> but we got great feedback, and we got a lot of you know um, da uh, data that lets us know that we do need to address these things. And uh, yes, we can target, um, and we are going to target people. So yeah, those things are in the works. Absolutely. Um, yeah, uh, pretty much all of those ideas, uh, pretty much everything everyone said, in one way or another, we're we're implementing. And um, you know, I'm going to be obviously emailing, letting you guys know, and needing your help with it because. We, I want to do more with the health program, and we're going to move forward, you'll see, um, than we have in, in years past. So I'm going to need uh, all hands on deck kind of thing. Um, but uh, on that note, I'm going to move forward, and we'll go to our goals. Before we, before we, we leave this particular area um, with the goals, Alex, at the benefit fair that's coming up, sometime yes. in May as usual and annually, why don't we set up a nice booth where we can give people information? This is yeah. this is part of where I'm going. You're absolutely right. That, that's what I'm saying. It's part of the goals. Awesome. So, uh, yeah. Hey, you know, yeah, this is, and this is what I like. This is what I like. I, I love our group right now. Where um, a lot of us, we're you're very, uh, you, you all seem very focused. You, we all seem to be generally on the same page. This is good, and we're all uh, willing to share our ideas. I love it. So, and yeah, the, you're absolutely right. Um, the benefits fair is one of the things that. Um, I right, since you mentioned it, we'll go uh, to that. Uh, the Benefits Fair is coming up. I believe it's going to be in May. Uh, I want to say the 15th, but don't quote me. I'm going to be working with Marie. Um, but yes, we are definitely going to be represented there. Um, I was represented last year with, for Well Directions, so I want to do a Well Directions booth, but I'm working on another one. Um, I'm working on another way that we can have people. It is the 15th. Yes, thank you. Um, I'm going. I'm working on another way that we can have people participate as far as engagement, um, and that is fitness assessment. Fitness assessment. I'm going to get back to this uh, to the benefits fair. I'll, I'll tell you how that features into the benefits fair in a minute. Fitness assessment. Uh, yeah, let me let me pull back a little bit. Do you guys um, did you see the ten excuse challenge that I did uh, what, a couple weeks ago? Yes. Yeah. yeah um, that was, uh, I got great feedback, by the way. Um, and for those who may not have seen it, what it was was I sent an email to the agency saying that, you know, give me 10 excuses of why you either can't make a healthy lifestyle change, can't, uh, you know, eat nutritionally better, can't quit smoking, all of the above. Give me 10 of your best excuses. And, you know, the first 10 people that, you know, got the qualifying amount and, you know, followed all the rules got a $25 Amex check. Um, so needless to say, I've got loads and loads of excuses, um, and I wonder, I plan on using those throughout the year. There's a lot I want to do with them, but my my whole method of thinking with that is what I'm, what since I have the excuses, what I want to do now is I want to start to do assessments, not just for fitness, but I'm starting with fitness assessments, and I want people to start to set goals regardless of those um, excuses. I want people to bypass those excuses, and I have a lot of colorful uh, ways that I, I'm going to be using those. But I want to get either people in here, or even if we have to travel out to them, I want to get some goals out of people. And it doesn't have to be big or uh, small. It just has to be a goal. So for instance, um, who here knows what insanity is, the insanity videos? Yeah, I've seen it. You've seen them? Yes, With uh, Sean T. It's a uh, super crazy P90X type workout. And um, in the beginning, he has a fit test. Um, it's very advanced, very extreme, and <laughs> I would not subject the entire agency to that because, as I said, we want to make this as accessible to everyone. So what I'm, what I'm working with a couple people on is a beginner's assessment kind of piece and then an advanced, more advanced kind of uh, assessment kind of piece for someone who feels more confident in their physical abilities, what have you. 
Mike, I, I'm, this is still very, very preliminary, but it's going to be coming out soon. So I don't know exactly what it's, you know, what it's going to entail, but I'm thinking of something along the lines of if you've never gotten off the couch, then your goal, like I said, would be getting off the couch. Um, if, you know, like I said, we're going to the houses to be doing this test. So let's say you can do a push-up, or you can't do a push-up then your goal would be to literally get into the push-up position and stay there for five seconds, you know. And I want to start to collect these goals from people and then throughout the year work on them. I'm sorry, I said someone said something, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought someone said something. Alex, um, after Sergio say something, I also want to add to what you just said. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, I'm sorry. Okay, so they always have this saying, um, big changes start with small steps. Uh, one of the things, um, even as small as, as it may sound, one goal could be drinking eight glasses of water. Start with that. Yes. You know, start with that goal. Um, if you you're not drinking enough water, start with that goal, drinking eight glasses of water. And then once you start, once you achieve that goal, the next step is um, ensuring that you have enough servings of fruits and vegetables in your diet. And that could be another goal. And then apart from the exercise goal, that would be goals that you can um, achieve towards something bigger, which is leading to a healthy lifestyle. Because even for myself, I find I, I, I don't drink enough water. And one of my goals is to drink at least eight glasses of water in, um, for the day. So that could be something that could be part of their goals in achieving as their wellness. Goal. That and that, that's that's what I mean. That's excellent, excellent idea. And this is what I'm saying. Like right now, I'm I'm focusing more on the physical aspect because that, for me, there's a lot of uh, back end work I have to do. I have to make sure liability things of that nature. So I'm focusing on the fitness part. But that's exactly the point. Is that this can be applied throughout all of wellness. And this is what I want. We want um, mental health uh, goals, uh, physical goals, nutritional goals, wh whatever. And we're going to, you know, I'm going to work on it. We're going to tweak it and we're going to, you know, make it more streamlined because I don't want it to be just a hodgepodge. But at the same time, I want it to be very intentional. I want to really, really engage our staff and ask them, what do you guys want to do? And then try to, you know, offer things to help them reach that goal, you know. You can, you can um, also just throw everything out there and let the people make their own choices, you know, because me, I mean, if I see a bunch of choices, you know, I'm going to look for the one that's fit for me. Of course. So rather than just say, okay, let's just focus on fitness, uh, why don't we just throw it all in a pot and let everybody choose their own? Well, the thing with that is, uh, like I, uh, I and I, I agree with you. I do agree with you. I want to offer. Uh, the only thing is, I we wouldn't be able to offer all of that stuff at one time, only because of just the way things work. So, for instance, with uh, with fitness, I would I couldn't offer that, so I wouldn't send out the option because there's a lot of back end work that has to be done. So I, I can't offer a fitness assessment because I. I'm working on the beginner phase, so I couldn't offer that. But we could offer the one that Claudine mentioned immediately right. because right. that's just someone that's more focused on them. So like I said, I, I want to definitely um, target it a little more. And another reason to answer your question is we want to stretch this out throughout the year, not not just getting gold throughout the year. That's, that's not what I want to stretch out, but we I want to make a program of it. And like I said, I want them to feel engaged throughout the entire year. I don't want there to be as, as little lulls as possible, obviously. I mean, we all, we're here to do a job and things. So I, I get it. It's not going to be crazy, you know, to the point of this is not your job to get well. But I really want them to feel, as far as health and wellness is concerned, that the program was is exciting, it's alive, and it's engaging, you know, because, you know, there's, you know, we've been incentivizing. And it's great. I want to incentivize. But I don't, you know, I think we're, we should be past the point where we're paying people to come to a lunch and learn, or you're paying someone to do something that really does benefit their lifestyle, you know. So I want to actually create value in their minds, you know. We, we know the value of it, um, but we, you know, we, we want, I want to give that to them. So, yes, I, I, I want to give them all of those options, but, uh, you know, for many reasons I wouldn't give them all at the same time. Um, but I, I would definitely, um, that's where we're going. I want to offer as much as possible. Alex, um, sure. Not to go backwards, but I was wondering if uh, um, 
I guess I'm asking you and Anita, how about um, you know offering some information of when these things are going to take place, maybe in their their paychecks? I don't know if that's possible, but oh, absolutely. You know, I, we, um, if you recall, uh, towards the end of the year, we wanted to put some some sort of a message uh, on the pay stubs regarding. Uh, if I don't remember exactly. It didn't happen. We wanted to do stickers to put on the pay stubs. Well, mm -hmm. again, we can address it in that fashion. Or we can also, there is a message line that we have on the pay stubs. You know, if there's anything that we want to put out there, we can always choose which pay period to do it in. Right. You know, whether right. it's on a, a, I'm a, just a saying. way of a sticker or a message that's printed. Yeah, I think that would be helpful because if anybody's like me, I'd look at my paycheck in detail, and if there's an extra line that has some information, I'm definitely going to see it at that time. So I just, you know, not to go backwards. The with that now is that if you recall, we are no longer, the majority of the agency, like maybe 93% are on direct deposit, and we're no longer, you know, mailing out um, right. pay advisors. So nobody's going to see a sticker or anything of the sort. Maybe, right. again, the only way to do this it would be to put a message on the actual pay stub. Right. Okay. I'm but, sorry. Okay. I just want, I didn't want to go backwards, but I just thought no, of that. No, no. No, it's, not, it's fine. It's fine. And um, also um, with, uh, with that, uh, we're doing UltiPro now. So there's, um, I think, uh, Claudine and, you know, she could tell you we can put, Look, kind of like Medicare, we can put a message there that we can kind of make sure that uh, everybody sees. So there, there's a there's a there's a couple different ways that we can attack that. So yeah, and like I said, uh, communication. I'm uh, I'm working on uh, many things to make sure that all of, everything that I'm talking about is communicated to the staff because that's like I said, if that's the biggest issue, we can have the best programs in the world if no one knows or if no one comes, right. it really won't matter. You know. Okay. Um, okay um, so let's see. Uh, good stuff. So yeah, we've got the fitness assessments coming up, and um, j just uh, FYI, that's going to be within um, starting in March. I'm like I said, I'm working on it as we speak, but for sure this will be launched in March, and I want to start getting these assessments, whatever they are, however they take shape, soon. So just you know, so you guys have a heads up, and um, you know, I'm as as I you know get information, I'll be sending it to you guys about it. Um, Let's see what we've got. So we've got the goals, um, and yes, uh, after that, I'm you know letting you know now. I'm already in talks with a lot of other things. There's a lot of programs that I'm working on that are going to um, use these these things. Let's say you know all the assessment things that we get, we're going to use them the same way I'm going to use all of the excuses I've got. I'm going to make use of them, and you know possibly you know. Have make them log them themselves so they also can see them. So there's a lot still to play with, but that's kind of the goal, kind of where I'm heading. All right, um, let's see. Um, all right, let's see. All right, on to the next coming attractions, and uh, we we'll be finishing shortly. I like okay, this is a great meeting, and we have a lot to talk about. But uh, you know, I don't want to keep you guys forever. Um, all right. The coming attractions. There's like as I said before, there's so much that uh, that uh, we have coming up that I'm in talks with uh, a lot of people about, and one of the big ones is aerobics classes. I've got a lot of trainers and teachers that I'm talking to, and um, there is uh, you know a significant amount of uh, programs and things that can be done. Um, so. I'm sorry, let me just uh, get myself together here. Okay, so yes, um, I got. The, I love this picture here, by the way. This middle picture is kind of um, like a fitness assessment picture. You know, this is the kind of thing that I want. I want to engage staff in this way, <laughs> you know, if we need to. And like I said, for some people, you know, not everyone is, at, at, you know, at the same place. So some people, like I said, will be engaging them, and we may have to actually go to a house or something like that, whereas other people, I'm planning on offering, Saturday type workshops, would, which probably would look more like this, you know. Um, there's a lot. There's a whole lot uh, going into it, but you know, just uh, if anyone asks, or you know, when you go to your um, your programs and things, you can let them know that there's a lot of physical physicality going around. If you know of someone in your houses or programs that's really competitive, and they feel that 
even though we do offer stuff, it's you know to beginner to which I have heard. Um, we're we're looking to address those people too. So I want to have you know beginner, intermediate, and advanced type uh, physicality things going on and fun things. You know things that are actually fun and people enjoy going to, and we don't have to just pay them. You know. Um, so with that, let me see. Oh. Um, and of course, uh, as always, um, if you have any questions, comments, feel free to interrupt me. Normally I say raise a hand, but once again, I can't hear you, so feel free to uh, type a comment or you know say something if uh, you have anything. Um, yeah, so I think we've gone over uh, uh, enough. There's a whole lot to go over, but the main thing is uh, just to remember, you know, one of the things we want to do, we exceed your goals is the theme for this year. I want to make sure that we're, we're helping the staff exceed theirs. And of course, as far as us with our wellness goals, we want to exceed those too. Um, so just moving forward, let's see. Feedback, 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 feedback. Um, so as I started before, anyone that you know has any feedback about any of the uh, programs that you went to, anything like that, um, now would be the time. Uh, any problems, questions you had? Um, does anyone have anything like that? Um, well, I, you know, um, Alice, when you were out here, one of the things that came up quite often um, was some people weren't in the system. Um, yeah. And it was people that were here long term, for, but for whatever reason, you had to add them. That's the only thing that I've seen, um, okay. but you've addressed it, you know. Yes, and uh, just uh, about that also, uh, you can let them know I actually, um, yesterday actually, I was staying late uh, going back. Um, just so you guys know about that, um, so you can answer the question, if someone asks that, the, the, the setup goes just, went just like this. As far as well directions, we have control of the website in that we are contracted with another agency. They actually created the website, and uh, we send them over information. So when it came to putting in employees and things like that, we sent them over a master list, an OP Pro list with everyone, all the information, and they had to input people. What happened is, of course, people were left out and things of that nature. So a lot of times when, you know, if that happens, it's a, it's a quick fix. I just can easily add them, and they can be, you know, uh, eligible. The problem is, I don't know that they're missing until, you know, they call or until someone says something. Now, what I did yesterday was I went and rechecked the list. It was a huge list, but I just was here yesterday, so I ended up, and I added a lot of people that weren't there. So hopefully, this is a minimal problem, and it, it has been. It doesn't happen all the time, but if anyone says they can't get in, please have them call me, email me, whatever, and if they truly aren't in the system, I can add them right then and there. Okay. Okay. Um, any other uh, weird questions, anything? Uh... No? No? Good. Good, good, good. Um, so has anyone else done, done any visits yet? I know, like I said, we, I know we met this month. I'm sorry, uh, Alex, I'm going to go back and, and have a question on this, uh, on the fact that, you know, there were people that were not in the system. Um, Absolutely. Now, uh, going forward, anybody that is a new hire, for instance, yeah. do they automatically go into the system? No, no. All the new hires, that is me. That um, And pretty much what, what, what happened was, like I said, we sent that list over. The agreement was that once he sent it back, any any uh, new members, any new employees have to be entered by me. So the emails that go around about new hires and things, that's what I right. have to go by. So I receive those, and as so I get those, I put them you in. You receive that list as well? Yes, I do. Okay, you do. Okay. Yeah. So you receive it from HR, like when, when somebody gets their ID number, then you get that. You get Correct, yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right, I yeah. just wanted... Okay. Sure, sure, no problem. No, no, this is uh, this is good stuff because, like I said, if you if you guys know how it works, then when you're asked, you can uh, you can let them know. Um. So, yes. Uh, let me see. I know Deanna went ahead and visited. Um, did anyone else visit uh, any programs? Talk to anyone else about uh, health and wellness yet? Um, uh, some of my. Oh, sorry. We, like I said, uh, this is Tina. I. 
pass the information on to my supervisors and when they have their individual staff meetings and most of mm -hmm. my staff is like five hours or less per week mm -hmm. um, they they pass the information flyers all that on to them so okay. I, I my immediate staff and then I funnel it out like that excellent um, I've spoken to the Schneps House and then also to um, the residential director team. Great, great, thanks. Um, we're we're doing this uh, just FYI for you know um, Nancy and uh, the, some of, some of you guys that have been here before. You know we had a physical piece of paper um, that we would fill out, and um, this time we're just going to go audio. So if anyone else. Um, Meaning, if this since is being recorded, we're going to go, you know, according to what you say. So if you went, then, you know, like you just did, you told me. Uh, did anyone else uh, visit a house? This is Stephanie. I did the my own group home, Claremont, um, and I'm scheduled to go out to other group homes in Antoinette's Cluster um, next month. Great. 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 Now, for some meetings that I have scheduling conflicts with, you can't go past March, or should I ask, like, how would I be able to in-service those homes that I won't be able to go to? Um, they're, they're, is it because they're not having, um, what is it, uh, meetings? or? No, they're having a meeting, but I have a couple of um, management trainings that I must attend, and it mm -hmm. conflicts with some of the times. So um, that was in two of the cases, so I just wasn't sure if there's a different way or whether I should just in-service the manager and they can trickle it down. I'm not sure what you prefer. Um, you know, it's uh, for that it would be a case by case. Um, we'll talk after. We'll talk after okay. for that because that uh, that'll probably be a case by case basis. I know everything is you know like that's the thing. It's uh, each house is different in each program, and you know there's a lot of things going on. So uh, yeah, we'll we'll work with that separately. I'll I'll probably give you a call after. Okay. Um, now the thing about the uh, what is that the uh, the paper that we used to fill out, and we're taking you know audio notes this time. Well, I want to test one more thing before we go, and uh, what that is is I'm going to be having everyone fill out the sheet actually on my computer because this go to meeting seems to offer an option that I can give you guys the keyboard and the mouse. So, would anybody like to be the guinea pig for this? I'll go ahead. <laughs> Okay, so I've got excellent. I've got the Excel sheet here, and this is from last year, so obviously disregard the uh, names. But I'm going to try to give you the controls, and I just want to see if you can type into this visits as of February 22 box. So I'm going to try to give it to you now. Okay. Here we go. Okay. And right. what do you want me to do? Put my name on it, or uh, whatever you put. I just want to want to see if you can uh, control the mouse and type oh, into it. Oh, you want me to take over already? Yes. Is it mine already? Okay. Yeah, there you go. Wow. Right, I'm in. Nice. Nice. This, this is good stuff. Excellent. So, say hello to, this is the way we're going to be uh, filling in the sheet from now on. So, uh, next meeting, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and uh, grab the controls now, Nada. Go ahead. That's cool. Awesome. Thank you. Really appreciate it. This is good stuff. Um, I have the wrong date on that, though. Oh, well, I don't know what that is. Oh no, I'm sorry. Yeah, this is this is from last uh, last year. This is not. I'm gonna recreate a new sheet. I wasn't gonna create one because, uh, like I said, no one was gonna physically come in. Uh, but this is good. So we're gonna be doing this this way from now on. So and this is good. This is all new stuff. This is very exciting. Uh, this is a a new year, and I want to get a lot out of uh, all of the things we've been doing, and you know, just really do better this year than we have in the past. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, and last but not least, if anyone has not, has anyone here not given me their shirt size yet? Ooh, I think I didn't. And neither okay. did I. Okay, okay just a... Uh, well, maybe, I don't know. Is it the same kind of shirt like last time, the, the V-neck, uh, I mean the <laughs> collar? It is, but it's, uh, we're, we're getting the, uh, the color that everyone wanted. We'll be getting them in black this year. I don't know. It a does. V it's like it, it's a polo. Yeah, it's a polo shirt. With a V neck. Oh, uh, with the three buttons. Yeah, I don't have it in front of me. Yeah, it's a typical uh, typical polo. I don't have it right in front of me where I'm looking. I feel like I should have it, but. Uh, All right, I'll send you my size. Yeah, just send it if you haven't. Uh, I'm I've been trying to hold off because I want to do one order, but I'm just. I don't want to everybody to know I'm a large. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can put me in for extra large. 
<laughs> sure. No, this is great. This is great. Um, and that's it. Like I said, that's the big thing. Um, are there any other questions, anything, comments, suggestions, um, anything right now before we uh, end this? No. None? Do we have to get well, a shirt? Because that's yeah. uh, a, a couple. Um, you said do we is have to get a shirt? Is something that you want us all to get? Yes. Yeah, I want everyone to have a shirt, right? World champions, right? Yeah. Yeah, but I have a couple that I haven't even really used so much. Oh, you mean the white ones? Yeah. Are, are oh, they well, going to be you're... different this time? Yes. Uh, yeah, we're going to make them black this time. You can still wear the white ones, though. I'm not outlawing the white ones if you have a uh, okay, so white you one. Can... Can... Down for a medium. Yeah, you can definitely, you know, but uh, now careful with making other people jealous. You know, some people don't have a white one now. Don't Don't get us all in trouble. Um, <laughs> no, I just don't want to, we're getting the same thing, that's why. I wasn't sure yeah. what we're getting. No, no, it's going to be a black one this time. Okay. I was right. asked for it. I'm sorry, go ahead. We hmm? should put down the 15th of May for the benefits fair that we're most likely, our group is going to be there and you know, I'm representing somehow, some way. Yes, right? oh my goodness, yes, I'm sorry, I didn't get back to the May 15th. I'm sorry, thank you, thank you, Tina. Yes, May 15th is, is the day. Um, if you can attend to help, um, email me, let me know, because I, I know I'm going to have a Well Directions booth where people can sign in and do Well Directions. I want to, um, I started talking about fitness assessments, that's why. With these fitness assessment things, hopefully we'll have the goals by then. So what I'm going to have um, possibly need more hands for is that to have people come up to you know a fitness section or a whatever we're going to call it, assessment goal section, and pretty much say, oh, is this the goal you had? Oh, great. Um, maybe you can do if your goal is to do ten push-ups. There goes a mat. Do ten put. You know what I mean? Like and possibly do something like that. So like I said, it's still very bare bones. But yes, I am going to need as many people. So any ideas, or if you think you're available on May 15th um, to come, I think it's going to be at the Suffolk uh, office. Um, mm -hmm. Please send, send me an email, and as many people as can help, I, I would appreciate it. You're saying it's going to be out in Deer Park? Yeah. I think so, yeah. yes. don't. Uh, it, it is. OK, that's what I thought. Um, is it going to so, be used in this area? Yeah. Um, and once again, this is you know not the end of things. So we we're, we're gonna have we have the benefits fair, and I think we have the wellness fair. So maybe the wellness fair will be here. I'm not sure exactly how they're gonna plan it, but uh, this is gonna be uh, the most uh, recent uh, upcoming thing. All right. Alex, in the next, it's a payroll week. That week? Okay. Okay. That's yeah. fine. Now we. Well, you you always help, Nada. We we've got uh we've got all, we've got champions. We're we're good. We've got a great team this year. So I'm sure we'll uh, we'll have help. You got it. Alex, in the next month, do you think that you'll be able to um, distribute, um, as I mentioned before, um, maybe a list of names of people who are not, um, you know, currently participating or actually going on at a website? Because that's going to help me when I go out to sites, you know, talk to those people in particular. With the Well Directions list, um, I have it. Um, yeah, well, we'll uh, give me a call. Give me a call uh, after the meeting, and we'll uh, I'll set something up. Because I do, I have the list, I have that stuff, and I'll just give you, I guess, the people who are in your cluster and okay. things like that. Um, yeah, just uh, talk with me. And for anyone else, too, if you'd like a list of people who, you know, didn't participate in Well Directions or something last year, I can uh, I can give you a more speci specific list, because you, you don't want the list I want. I mean, I have. You don't want that. It's <laughs> it's everyone, all the staff, but I can uh, kind of target it for you and uh, send you that. Okay. All right. Um, yes. Uh, so, I anything else? Anybody? Uh, other questions? Anything? Wonderful. No. Wonderful. Thanks a lot, guys. This has been a great meeting. Thanks for attending. And uh, well, thank you. as always, give me a call if there's any questions, comments. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Have a good, Have a good day, y'all. Bye.